Hello everyone, I haven't mentioned it at the start of the video, but I actually showed a Google Sheet with all the information and win rate about the, the runes that I'm going to show you in this video. I also showed you a couple examples about uh, Challenger, Grand, uh, Challenger Talent One Tricks or Grandmaster Talent One Tricks uh, who use these runes. Okay, it's going to be at the end of the video. Hello everyone, uh, this is Blade. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to talk about runes and build. Uh, specifically, I'm going to talk about three different runes, the most three common runes uh, taken by Talon One Tricks, uh, which is, uh, they are Conqueror, Electrocute, and First Strike. All of them are really valuable. Uh, I know there's some people who hate Conqueror, some people who don't, doesn't like First Strike, some people who only take Electrocute, or some people even say Electrocute is bad. Um, uh, it's all, to be honest, it's all um, uh, personal preference, but the, the data shows that all of them are really, really good uh, uh, choices. The only problem is it depends you you playing against who in the laning phase because um, you don't want to take first strike against control mages. Anyway, I'm going to talk specifically about the, uh, each rune. But the first rune I'm going to talk about is um, Electrocute. So if you take Electrocute, most likely, not most likely, but 100% you're going to go Assassin build. You're never going to build Bruiser on Electrocute because it's not worth it. Okay? So there is... Uh, if you're gonna go electrocute, you're gonna go obviously electrocute. You're always gonna take second sudden back. It's the only good option for the first choice in the domination tree. Eyeball collection, which is also the best option. Uh, the last one you have relentless hunter or ultimate hunter depends which which first item you go. If you're gonna go eclipse first item, which I don't recommend, I don't recommend going eclipse. Although I love going eclipse, I don't recommend it because it has low win weight. Um, if you're gonna go eclipse, you have to go Relent relentless hunter. You have to. Because you're not going to build your moves. But if you're going to build your moves, you have to go Ultimate Hunter. Okay? You have to go Ultimate Hunter. Uh, so, so yeah. The, the secondary runes, I personally love to go Absorb and Cut Down. The Persistent Tree. However, I'm going to show you on the screen right now, the two most common build uh, second second tree or secondary rune on Electrocute. The first one is... Um, Sorcery, which is most likely uh, a Nimbus Cloak with uh, absolute uh, with uh, uh, with absolute focus, and uh, the second one is uh, Inspiration Tree, which uh, with uh, um, either Cash Pack and uh, Cosmic Insight or uh, Magic Footwear with Cosmic Insight. Both of them are equally good. Uh, so yeah. But personally, I love cut down because cut down is really good. Absorb life give you a little bit sustain. Give you uh, if you if the first five waves gives you around one extra potion, which is really really good. Of course, if you farm well, uh, cut down almost in the late game mid game gives you almost as much damage as electrocute, which is also really really good. But all the uh, other option is uh, other options is also good. Okay, anyway. So if you're gonna go these runes, you're gonna go electrocute, which is uh, an assassin build. What what build? What items do you take? First of all, if you're gonna go uh, electrocute, you have to on your first back. Most likely, in most cases, in most all situations, you're gonna build tier one boots. You have to, just too good on talent. And then you're gonna finish your your moves. Obviously, if you're gonna take ultimate hunter, you're gonna take your moves. And then you're gonna take um, portfolio hydra as your second item. You can. Uh, uh, I see a lot of talent mains, talent one tricks. They don't like to build portfolio hydra because it's too expensive and the build bath is too too bad. So they go uh, opportunity as second item. But if you're going to go Yormuz and opportunity, you have to go ultimate hunter. You have no choice because you don't have ability, uh, ability haste. And since if you go the first two items, they don't have ability haste, you have to go um, the city de boots. Uh, of course, you're going to finish the city de boots uh, after your first item. So after finishing um, after finishing Yormuz, after finishing Yormuz, you're going to finish your second uh, tier two boots. Uh, you can also take swiftness. Swiftness and Lucidity Boost actually have almost the same win weight, which is uh, so we can actually take uh, Lucidity Boost or uh, Swiftness. It depends which one you like most. But I recommend, I recommend if you're gonna go um, Yomus and uh, Opportunity, they have a lot, you already have a lot of uh, um, movement speed, so I recommend going uh, Lucidity Boost for the ability ace. Okay? Uh, third item, you're gonna go um, Edge of Night, and then you're gonna go uh, Surda's Grudge. I know Surda's Grudge, this patch is bad. Uh, this patch, this patch, you're gonna take Lord Dominance. It's give you way more damage and it's actually cheaper than uh, Serodus Grudge. However, next patch when they buff Serodus Grudge, Serodus Grudge, uh, Serodus Grudge gonna be always, almost always, always better than the uh, Lord Dominance. 
okay? And also give you ability haste and lethality. So, uh, uh, so yeah. So you build Surda's Grudge fourth item. You can actually build the third item, but I recommend Edge of Night third item. It has it has way higher win rate than Surda's Grudge or Lord Dominic as a uh, as a third item. So I recommend uh, Edge of Night third item. You have to build uh, Edge of Night as a third item or a fourth item. Uh, in general, you have to build Edge of Night because it helps you a lot in team fights to assassinate the AD carry or the battle mage because the support or the tank or any the, the enemy the enemy. Uh, the enemy champion who have CC, they're gonna focus you in team fights, so they can so they protect their mage or their AD carry. So you have to build uh, uh, Edge of Night. Okay, last item is uh, optional. You can go Ma. Ma is not the best. It's actually really high in cost. If they reduce it by 100 gold, I think. But still, you can still build this last item. So I don't really much care. If they have a lot of sheet, obviously you can go Serpent Tank. If um, you can go also Profane Hunter if you want more damage. Uh, if you not, if you if you didn't, if you haven't built a second item, you can also go uh, uh, Death Sands to give you a little bit extra survivability, so you can assassinate someone and use the Ignore Pain passive, okay, or Defy Death uh, passive. So, uh, uh, so yeah, so uh, really good. I don't recommend a Guardian Angel. Guardian Angel is such a troll uh, item. I don't see a Talon One to build it because it's bad. You can build Ghost Serax, but Serax is the... They made it a little bit expensive, so uh, I don't know. Also, the the lifeline, uh, they increased the, the the cooldown and they made the decay... Uh, 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 the shield uh, decay uh, actually a little bit faster, so, so yeah. But you can still go Serax. So the, the last item just depends uh, completely on the... Uh, if you want to go defensive or extra damage, okay? Uh, we're going to go uh, uh, to the second one, which is first rank. For everyone, we're back. So uh, in, in this, um, so we're, uh, we're gonna talk about uh, uh, first strike. We just finished uh, electrocute. Electrocute is uh, maybe I haven't mentioned it in the first section. Uh, first section, but electrocute is almost good in every single situation. The only situation it uh, electrocute is bad is against bruisers or juggernauts specifically, like uh, Mordgeiser, Set, um, uh, uh, Darius. Those champions are electrocute is technically really bad. I don't recommend taking it. It's kind of a little bit troll. If you go first strike or conqueror against them will be way much better since first strike you can always proc it so you can farm them uh conqueror uh so you can actually have a decent chance of killing them okay but uh we're gonna get that later okay so first strike so first oh let me let me stop the minions okay so first strike is good against every single every single matchup except control mages poke mages which is unfortunately you see a lot of poke mages in the mid lane so against against Victor, against Orianna, against Azir, against Hui, against Zerat, those champions are really bad to take first rock because you will never be able to proc it. And even if you proc it a couple times, it won't be worth it. Because since again, last split, they uh, this split they nerfed the uh, mid power spike of first rock. Since uh, it used to give you 100% uh, uh, gold uh, on, uh, on the damage. So if you deal 100 uh, damage last split, if you deal 100 damage, you're gonna get 100 gold. But now you only get 50% of the gold, 50% uh, uh, of, uh, 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 of, uh, of the um, damage as gold. So, uh, so yeah. So they nerfed the mid game, late game of the first strike gold. But however, they gave us cash back, which is really, really good. Anyway, so what's the purpose of first strike? First strike is it gives you 8% extra damage. Uh, but it, it's almost, it's really weak. The, the purpose of first strike is to farm gold so you can reach your power spike in the mid game so you can uh, snowball the game. It, it's really snowbally uh, snowbally runes, okay? It's really, really. Uh, it's, it, if you if you proc it like five times, six times in the in the laning phase, it's actually gonna help you snowball really fast even without having uh, getting any kills. So this is the purpose of first strike. It's, it's, it's like scales really uh, scales really good. And it snowballs really, really fast, especially if you're ahead. If somehow, somehow you're ahead, first strike gonna helps you a lot to snowball and uh, take over the game. So, uh, so yeah. But it's unfortunately it's really bad against control mages, and obviously most most matches in the mid lane or half of them gonna be against control mages. So first strike won't be uh, as good as electrocute or conquer. Okay. So, uh, so yeah. So this is the purpose of uh, first strike. Uh, I have to note and say. The disadvantage of first strike is you're really, really weak in the early game. Um, I haven't, uh, I, I maybe not mention uh, mention it in the first section, but I, I have Google Sheet, which all the information, win rate, and the games, 
about the all the three runes, which is First Strike, Electric, and Conqueror. I'm going to show it at the end of the video. I'm also going to show you some OP.GG accounts uh, on Talon One Tricks who reach Grandmaster and Challenger, okay? Uh, so yeah, so the the, the first strike uh, is really good. Uh, the obviously, if you take first strike, you're gonna use it as an assassin and not as a bruiser. Uh, you're gonna build the same the same runes, uh, the same build on the uh, electrocute. You're gonna go first uh, tier tier one boots on your first pack, preferably, and then you're gonna finish your moves. You can go buffet hydra or uh, opportunity depends on which one you like most. Um, then you're gonna go Edge of Night. Uh, Wait, let me get more gold. Then you're gonna go Sorojo's Grudge, and the last item is optional. Obviously, you're gonna finish the second tier two boots on after you finish your first item. So after you finish your Yomus or Eclipse, you're gonna go. You finish your uh, tier two boots. Okay. So obviously, the combos is 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 the same. It's the same assassin combo, right? So WQR. The only note I have to say is with Profane Hydra, when you WQR. Uh, make sure you auto then profane hydra. Okay, make sure you auto first then profane hydra. Because sometimes, sometimes in my games, I press profane hydra and then my my champion actually cancel the auto. Okay, because you need like you see the, the channel. You see it needs actually some a little bit time to proc the profane hydra. So so yeah. So WQR. Make sure you proc passive then profane hydra. Okay. Make sure you proc your passive auto and proc your passive. Because sometimes again profane hydra can cancel your auto and not procing your passive. That, so you cannot execute your uh, your uh, your target so this is the first strike we're gonna go uh, to the last section which is the conqueror hello everyone we're back uh this session we're gonna talk about the conqueror so con so uh, okay so so conqueror so conqueror rune. conqueror is not a troll i'm gonna show you uh, even op.ggs about uh, uh legit and high grandmaster games well uh, uh uh grandmaster talent picking conqueror and uh in grandmaster games even challenger games so conqueror is not sure not some people does not like it the problem why people does not like conqueror is because they're play you have to change your play style when you play conqueror you cannot just wqr and do the the assassin combo okay so um so yeah so conqueror is actually really really good uh, i actually get uh, a lot of solo kills in lane or the first 14 minutes uh with conqueror so conqueror is actually really really good um it's just the most uh, most people are so used to, to so used to assassin playstyle, so they feel conqueror is useless. Okay, but the the, the main build is I see uh, some actually some um, uh, grandmaster uh, talents who pick conqueror. They actually go Yomus. Okay, they still go Yomus. So uh, so yeah, so Yomus is an option. But however, I really really recommend you go uh, Eclipse. I really recommend you go Eclipse. Eclipse is such a good item. Uh, overall, give you 70 AD, a lot of AD, and ability haste also give you uh, a lot of shield every sec six seconds shield and six percent uh, max health damage on the enemy. So, uh, so yeah, obviously you're gonna buy tier one boots on your first pack again. It's really, really good. And then you're gonna finish lucidity boots. I recommend lucidity and not swiftness. You can go swiftness. You can go swiftness, but I don't recommend it because you're gonna be fast. But uh, you need the ability haste. I'm gonna explain that uh, uh, in a second. Okay, so you go. Um, uh, lucidity boots second item it, it depends if if the enemy is a little bit tanky like if you're playing against a uh, bruiser in the mid lane or like against pantheon or against the uh, galio who built tank uh, like uh, any any tanky champ they have a tank uh, uh, in, the, in the in the jungle sejuani maybe and top lane they have like maybe scion so uh, black leaf is a really really good item second item okay uh, black leaf is actually really good however if they if they're playing squishy like playing against maybe control mage in the mid lane and uh, they have maybe nidalee in the in the jungle that they're squishy uh, you can actually go profane hydra second item okay uh keep in mind profane hydra is really expensive so b while building profane hydra you're gonna feel really weak the moment you finish profane hydra you're gonna feel really really strong okay but note that even if you go conqueror with the uh profane hydra second item you're not gonna feel as tanky as going um black leaf Okay, third item gonna be always Black Lever. If you're not gonna build the second item, you're always gonna build the th third item. And then the th uh, the fourth item gonna be either uh, Overlord uh, Bloodmail. You can also go Serax. You can go uh, uh, Spear of Sojourn. It's all viable options. And then you're gonna go uh, 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 Serax Cage last item. So this is gonna be taking your build. Okay, so uh, uh, so yeah, gonna be really really tanky. Gonna have a lot of HP. Uh, the the purpose of the purpose of this build. It's not to one-shot people, although you can if you're ahead. 
But the, the purpose of this build is to keep using your ultimates, uh, keep using your abilities, uh, uh, multiple rotation on your abilities in one team fights. And this, since you're, uh, uh, since you have a lot of ability haste, um, you have a lot of cooldown, so you can actually Q and W people while conquer. Uh, so you can re uh, reproc your uh, conqueror. So conqueror does not. Uh, uh, so conqueror can always be procked because. Uh, Conqueror takes 5 seconds, then you have to restack it. But since your Q is 3.9 seconds, so you can actually keep reprocking your Conqueror or having Conqueror up all the t all the team fights. So uh, so yeah. Anyway, the the reason why you build the main reason why you build uh, um, the main reason why you take uh, Lucidity as your second item is because of the the the, the play style of Conqueror. Okay, so you do not. Again, you do not do not play Conqueror as uh, as an assassin. You do not WQR. This is no. This is this is wrong. Because you see, you haven't proc your uh, Conqueror. You have not proc your Conqueror. You have not proc your Plat Lever. So WQR is such a bad item. Such such a bad combo. WQR. What the hell am I doing? Wait. Wait. Let, let me wait for the Conqueror. So WQR is such a bad combo. Or if you're going, if you're going conqueror talent, such a bad combo. It's really, really bad because you not have, you're not gonna proc your black lever, and you're not gonna uh, proc your uh, uh, conqueror. So it's really bad. What you need to do is wait. Let me, let me, let me remove the ability haste. Okay, so I don't have ability haste. Okay. So the the, the main reason why you go lucidity and uh, eclipse and black lever is because it gives you a lot of ability haste. Also with legend, uh, legend of haste. So technically you're gonna have around 65 uh, ability haste. So when once you have 65, wait, uh, yeah, uh, Legend of Haste is bugged and and is bugged in uh, practice tool. So I'm gonna buy five of those because uh, Legend of Haste give you 15 uh, ability haste. So now you're supposed to have uh, 65 ability haste with two items. Uh, so so the the main combo you do with Conquer is Q W and then R and then you sit on your R, wait for your next Q. So, so that that's the purpose of going uh, conquer talent. Okay, so wait, let me let me get my ultimate back. So you you you, you WQ then W then R and then you wait for your second Q and then you Q again and you see you have full stack of conqueror and full stack of black lever. So this is the purpose of going um, a, a black lever going uh, a lot of ability haste. So you can stick to your target and not WQR. Okay, so the, the reason the reason why you wanna uh, take Conqueror so we can uh, have full stack of Conqueror and full strength of Black Lever and then you proc passive and only then you proc your passive. So a QW, double, and then wait, uh, uh, let me get my ultimate back. So the the, the 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 combo again is gonna be wait, let me wait. QW, and then R, and then wait for your second Q, and then you Q again. And you see, I have I have full conqueror and I have uh, black leader shred. So this is the purpose. And then you have your ultimate again. And lastly, with conquer with conquer, you can proc your passive multiple times. This combo can kill literally any ADK, any ADK, any battle match. Literally can 100 to zero them. Also, this combo also can make you fight uh, against uh, uh, bruisers. You can kill bruisers with this combo because you have a conqueror uh, up, give you a lot of a lot of uh, AD. And uh, uh, you have a, a black cleaver straight, and you have a, a, a clips. You can proc your, your clips multiple times, also in, in one team fight. So it's really, really, really strong. Okay. So, uh, so yeah. So in the in the last section, I'm gonna show you Google Sheet. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna show you a Google Sheet. Let me give me a second. Let me bring the Google Sheet. So this is the Google Sheet. Okay. Uh, uh, in the Google Sheet, you can see a Conqueror and First Strike and Electrocute. Uh, I played uh, these three runes uh, around from Emerald 2 to Diamond 2. This is the ELO. I played three, uh, these through, uh, three, three runes. I played around 40 games each. 40 games approximately. More or less. A little bit. So yeah. So the uh, Conqueror, I actually win, uh, won uh, 25 games and lost 20. My win rate is 55% win rate on Conqueror. And I had solo kills. I had 27 solo kills. Uh... uh in the first 40 minutes, for, completely solo kill. No jungler held, nothing. Complete solo kill in the first 40 minutes when I played Conqueror. Okay, I solo killed my laner and in 45 in the in the 45 games I solo uh, solo killed my laner in 27 games. The 27 games I solo um, solo killed them. Okay, 
the cost of the build is around uh, 15,000 uh, uh, gold. So it's, it's technically really expensive. The main, the main um, rune is Absorb Life, Legend Haze, Cut Down, and Sudden Impact Land, Relentless Hunter. You can actually take uh, uh, Ultimate Hunter, but I don't recommend it in Conquer. I don't, you need a little bit of movement speed so you can stick on your target and actually roam. Okay? So, so this is Conquer. This is the set of Conquer. 55% win rate. Okay. So first strike, again, I played around uh, 42 uh, games. I won 24 games, lost 18 games. The win rate is 57.14%. The solo kills, this is this is really important. The solo kills uh, and, uh, and are using first strike. Only 11 games, I solo killed my laner in the first 40 minutes We're using first strike. Okay? And, and, and for, in 42 games, I only solo killed my laner. Complete solo kill. Without any help, uh, 11 times only. Okay? The, 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 um, the gold cost is actually the same, but since first strike give you gold and cashback give you gold, approximately 1,000 and 1,500 in one game. So uh, I reduced 1,500 or 1,000 um, uh, gold from the build cost. Okay. Uh, obviously, the build the build gonna be on uh, the build gonna be on first strike is gonna be cash back, uh, uh, triple tonic. It can go actually cookies, but I don't recommend it. It has lower win rate. Okay. Uh, toss begin side sudden impact relentless hunter. You have to go relentless hunter. Okay. You have to go secondary on first strike. You have to go domination sudden impact relentless. You have to. Don't go Ultimate Hunter. You have to go Sudden Impact and Relentless Hunter. I have the most success on them, okay? Uh, we go the last uh, uh, tree, which is Electrocute. I had 40 games. I had uh, uh, 23 uh, wins, 17 losses, which with 57.5% uh, win rate. I had the most solo kills using Electrocute in lane. The first 14 minutes without any help, uh, Electrocute uh, gave me 30 solo kills in the 40 games. So, technically speaking, around 75% of my games, I got a solo kill, complete solo kill, around uh, uh, Emerald 2 to Diamond 2, uh, using Electrocute 3, okay? Ov obviously, the the the, um, the rune is going to be Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collection, Run the Hunter. You can also go Ultimate Hunter. You can also go Ultimate Hunter uh, on your Electrocute 3. Your second tree is actually a lot optional. You can go, uh, as I said, as I mentioned before, you can go Sorcery, you can go uh, uh, Inspiration, or you can go precision uh, a tree. I go precision tree, but you can choose whatever you want. Okay. So this is the Google sheet. Okay. Uh, the last thing I need to show you is the Opita GG. Okay. So this is so people so, so people who don't know this is uh, Lurkis. Uh, 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 who, people who don't know Lurkis. Lurkis is the best talent mid lane uh, in EU server. That he's the best. He he consistently reach challenger. However, this is his Smurf account. I tried. I tracked his smurf account. Uh, he played uh, two days ago, so he has in this split he has uh, a sixty-eight percent win rate. He's he always go electrocute with sorcery. He always, always, he always rush boots. He two boots uh, before his first item. He always does that. Okay, so if you go if you go his to his games, if you go to his talent games. He always rush boots. Always rush. He always rush boots. He always, always rush boots first item. Always, always. Then he finish Yomus, okay? And then he go Yomus, then he go sometimes Profane Hydra, sometimes he go uh, uh, Opportunity as a second item. They're both good, they're both uh, uh, decent. And uh, yeah, so this is the Electrocute, okay? So let me show you the second um, uh, Obita GG. Uh, Obita GG is about uh, a Korean guy. Oh, sorry, uh, an EU West. He's a, he's a, he's a Grandmaster. Wait, let me, let, me, let me show you only Talent games. Because he played Talent and he played... Um, Z. So he has 62% win rate. That's an EU. He's a grandmaster. Uh, he, he played 40, uh, uh, 47 games in this split. He goes uh, uh, electrocute. He always go electrocute sorcery. It's the same with Lurkis. Um, he he does not build. Uh, he does not rush tier two boots. So he always uh, build tier one boots. He finishes item then build tier two boots. This is what he does. Okay. He does that uh, every game consistently. Okay. Uh, however, this guy always, always, this guy always go, you almost always go opportunity, always. And obviously, he, he takes ultimate hunter, absolute focus, and nimbus block, okay? So, uh, this one. Okay, so the last Obita GG is the Korean server from uh, this guy. This guy loves gold conqueror, and uh, by the way, this is this list right now. This guy is right now. It's literally right now, at the moment. Okay, so um, uh, he goes conqueror, he has... Uh, 130 games, 60% win rate. 
he's a grandmaster in Korean server, and he goes conquer inspiration. Okay, he goes conquer inspiration instead of conquer domination. Um, uh, he can he almost he plays it in the top lane. Sometimes the top lane. I don't recommend top lane. It's not good. He plays it in the mid lane. You can see he takes conquer. He also takes first strike. He takes first strike with domination. So uh, so yeah. So he take uh, inspiration. He can also take inspiration on conquer. It's completely fine. I love taking uh, domination on my uh, second one, but that's completely fine. He takes uh, magic footwear and and he takes biscuit. So so yeah. Obviously he built uh, uh, eclipse uh, and then he go black table uh, always second item. Okay, not always, but most most of his games. Okay, so this is though. So so people who are saying conquer is bad. No no no, conquer is not bad. It just it depends on your play style. Okay, so he takes always first strike or conquer first strike or conquer. And uh, yeah, and he's a grand master. This split was 60% win rate. So, uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or concerns, please let me know in the comment section. Take care, everyone.